I feel like this is the watch that people have asked Tudor for the most. This is Tudor's answer to the Submariner, and I feel like this is gonna be Tudor's new hot watch, despite the fact it's relatively boring. But the most iconic watches are boring. This is the new Tudor Black Bay for 2024. This is a full fat Black Bay, the 41 millimeter version. This is a color change, a new version, a new addition to what was launched as a new watch last year in Burgundy. This has a new updated, more refined case. It's got the new movement and it has the new T-Fit clasp. And the most important refinement of this is how thin the watch is and the way they did it. It's pretty clever. The Black Bay is probably the most, no, not probably, it is the most important watch for Tudor. It's the watch that made Tudor become its own separate brand, separate it from its brother company, Rolex. The Black Bay is also an important watch for the whole industry as its value for money is completely unmatched. And I'll prove it by showing you the specs. The case is stainless steel, it's 41 millimeters wide, it's 13.6 millimeters thick, it has a lug to lug measurement of 50 millimeters, the lugs are 22 millimeters wide, it's got a screw down crown giving it 200 meters of water resistance, it's got a uni directional dive bezel with an aluminium insert and it's got a domed sapphire crystal. That alone is a pretty compelling package, but the biggest impact that makes this watch massive value for money is the movement inside. This has a Tudor caliber MT5602, dash U and explain what the U means in just a second. It's an automatic movement, it's cost certified, it's meta certified, it beats at 28,800 beats per hour, it's got 25 joules and it's got 70 hours of power reserve but the difference is that this is meta certified. This isn't just a brand saying oh we can do this like when car brands say we do not to 60 in whatever time but there's no fuel and fuel tank and everything's been ripped out. This power reserve has been certified by Metas. If you're not familiar with Meta certification, it's essentially cost certification, but on steroids. They don't just test the accuracy, but they put it through stress testing, be it with magnetism, be it with temperature changes or shock changes, and the watch movement has to stay accurate within a certain parameter for all of those tests. Other companies charge double what Tudor are charging for this level of certification. When you see a Tudor watch movement or a watch model with U as a serial number, that U represents anti-magnetism. And it's a little Easter egg because a U is the closest letter shape to a magnet. This is an addition to the new versions of the Black Bay range with the slimmer case and the changes are very subtle. This is a refinement as opposed to a complete overhaul. The changes are chamfered edges on the case which gives the appearance of it being thinner. The crown sits closer to the case so we no longer have a little barrel at the end and the knurling on the crown has also changed along with the knurling on the bezel itself. Now the way that they've made this case thinner is really quite smart. This version, this era of the Black Bay has a boxed sapphire a crystal. That box essentially adds a little bit height to the top side of the watch but it's not really noticeable but what that allows them to do is raise the movement, raise the dial so everything sits higher within the case of the watch and so essentially you're taking up space within that box which previously had to be taken up within the case. This allows the movement dial everything to sit higher which means they can reduce the thickness of the watch. This watch comes on various straps. I'm not particularly a fan of it on the rubber strap. Uh, it is a nice rubber strap. It's nicely made. It's got a clever uh, system for cutting it down with little notches. But style-wise, I think this looks much better on the, on the three link or the five link bracelet. This watch costs 3,630 on a rubber strap, 3,820 on a three link bracelet, and 3,910 on a five link bracelet all of that watch for under four thousand pounds there aren't many people doing that what do you think of this new version of the black bay it's kind of removed all the vintage touches the, the gilt indices the gilt text red triangle it's just black and white some people are going to think it's boring i think this is going to be the watch that people aim to have the one watch what are your thoughts if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you like the start of this video, hit the subscribe button down there and that little bell icon to get notifications when I drop a new video. We're going to be covering the whole new range from Tudor, so do subscribe so you don't miss out on that stuff. If you want to follow me on Instagram, give me a follow at Bark and Jack. And if you want to check out our watch accessories, jump over to barkandjack.com. I'll probably see you later on today. Take care.